Drug user, HCV, an HIV patient with multiple vein punctures to the groin. He's now presented with groin swelling and built 100 ml and then the bleeding stopped. What's the pathophysiological consequences of vein puncture? Basically, it's asking you about the hemostasis. So vein puncture, this is an endothelial injury. This will lead to vasoconstriction initially and then activation of the platelet plug formation. The platelet will adhere to the endothelial tissue and will lead to formation of a platelet plug. And following that, there will be activation of the coagulation cascade, starting by the intrinsic mechanism and the extrinsic mechanism coming together to form the common pathway. And they will end up with a formation of a fibrin-rich meshwork, which is the blood clot. So all of this is talking about the consequences of the injury of the endothelium. So vasoconstriction, and then you have a platelet plug formation, coagulation cascade activation, and the end product is a, a, a platelet plug, addition to the hemostatic plug as well. You have two natural blood thinners, and this includes the tissue plasminogen activator and the urokinase. And we usually use that in clinical practice to unplug the PIC line, for example, or the long-term line that the patient might have. The HIV is an RNA virus and is formed of multiple structures. This diagram explains it really well. So you have from the outside the envelope, and you also have the protein spikes. And also you have inside the envelope a few important structures as well that is called the capsid, the matrix, and the nucleocapsid. So let's divide them. First of all, the, the envelope or the membrane, and this is basically formed of lipid membrane, like any other membrane in the body. And then the protein spikes or the glycoprotein spikes, they're divided into multiple different types, glycoprotein 120 and the glycoprotein 41. And the capsid and the nucleocapsid and the matrix. The matrix is basically the empty space in between this white areas. And the capsid is that conical shape it's found inside the matrix and it contains three enzymes, the integrase, reverse transcriptase, and protease. And finally, the nucleocapsid, which is inside the capsid, and this contains the RNA, which is basically the type of the virus.